So I played City Skylines 2. I did a live stream yesterday and for the first three hours I focused on actually trying to build and learn the game to make a proper city. After about three hours, around the three hour and 16 mark I believe it was, I'm not 100% sure, I decided to just give up. Yep, keep on going, <laughs> keep on going. Not even trying, was trying earlier, losing money constantly. Not trying, gaining popularity, gaining money. <laughs> Oh, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I gave up completely on the game. And I said, how ridiculous can I make this and still be rewarded for making it extremely bad, like poor. I think it was the rent thing. There was some rent thing popping up, some icon. They can't afford their rent, even though all they want is low density housing. Doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. Is everything going on over here? Nah, everything, this whole area over here is struggling hard. I can't figure it out. They still can't afford their fucking rent. <laughs> I don't understand. I can't figure it out. <laughs> so I said, how long could I go without being punished in this game for simply participating in building roads, planting whatever the bars wanted me to plant, and manipulating the other three bars just to get to big city level 11 because everything else doesn't really matter after that it's just points to put in your freaking tree who the hell cares about a freaking tree this is an rpg game this is a simulator so i spent the last hour of that stream building it all out i just put whatever wherever it seems like it's built for uh people that don't know how to play a simulation game so that's what it, that's what it feels like it feels like like I don't know how to get rid of these icons, but it doesn't even matter because I'm, I'm not being punished. I'm not being punished for not getting rid of those because I'm still gaining popularity and I'm still gaining money. And the city is complete trash. In this recorded session of the same city that I finished the live stream on, I continued to expand every nook and cranny, building out roads, painting the low residential, participating in the bar simulator, Manipulating the other little bars in the corner, figuring out what I had to do to get to big city. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I was able to cheese this game so hard. It's not even funny. I don't know who thought of this XP system, but it's a bad move. Okay. I don't want to be rewarded for participating in events, I want to be rewarded for building the city the way it's supposed to be built. Just like in City of Skylines 1. Exactly like that. Now in the video, I did say they could have taken a route where they could have made it participation points if they had an option to go online. I don't want the, the entire game to go online. No, I don't want that. But if they made an option to go online, if people wanted to, and then other people could connect their cities to your city help your city you could go and try and like help their city if they let you okay they let you do it it is what it is right they could just be over there doing their own thing they don't want you to touch their city whatever right so if they want to take the participation system in that direction that would have been a much better direction than whatever direction this is right now the arrows are green for most of the time until i started adding in services then the arrows for the population and the money started going down, but I was still leveling up. I was still leveling up. I then decided to manipulate those arrows once again to get them back into the green along with I'm going to call it this. I'm going to call it the smiley bar because I have no idea what that bar is trying to get that in the middle or higher. OK, so I assumed at one point that if I got the faces higher, it would give me more XP for my city growing did not. It did not do that. So I said, okay, what if, because I get XP for planting or just placing in services, I get XP for it. Let me just spam the services. And that's when the bars start going down. The population was, I think, fluctuating, but the money was going down. I wasn't getting money anymore. I was losing a lot of money. So I said, fine. I deleted most of those. I said, what if I spam one thing, delete it, and then spam it again? You know what I mean? Place it, delete it, place it. Just spam it. <laughs> that went, that went so god dang well. I don't even know how to express myself on that. Let me tell you. <laughs> I took the university. I got my money up. 
I got the population. I don't think I got the population up, but I got my money in the green. My money was going up. Okay. I had just leveled, I think, but I had quite a bit of money. I don't think I just leveled. That's a lie, but I did have quite a bit of money because I leveled before that. The green arrow going up. I said, what if I just spam the university, the university, the university gives me 1000 XP every time I place it. But let me just place it 30 times because I need 30,000 XP to level up again to level 11, which is the big city. I placed it, ran out of money to place the university. But I said, OK, what if I place the college? The college gives me 500 XP per. I placed that ran out of money. I was almost leveled up. I said, OK, what if I place? I'm pretty sure I placed the middle school. I don't know if I placed high school, but I think I placed the middle school. I think it was I placed, I think, two or three of those leveled up. And that's when I checked out of the game. When I realized that you're not actually building the city in the way that I 100% believe it should be built which is population in mind, population and the way you treat, I guess they're called Sims in the game with a C. I have no idea what they're called. I, I 100% forget, but I'm pretty sure it's Sims with a C for copyright purposes. The way you treat your Sims. I am level 11, big city. My city looks like garbage. <laughs> it does not look, it doesn't look like a city at all. It is low residential everywhere. I even have low residential mixed in with the factories and I took most of the other ones out. I took out uh, offices. There's no offices in the city. I took out, I think medium residential. There's none of that. Or if there is, it's very, very little of it. And I took out, I think it's high residential. I forget. I'm pretty sure it's high residential. I took that crap out too. The only thing that exists in this city is a lot of low residential, all complaining about rent. I can't fix it. I, I can't fix it. I gave up. Okay. I can't fix it. All complaining about low residential. And, nothing, and I'm st I'm getting rewarded for it. I am still gaining money. The population is kind of going up and down a little bit, but for the most part, still gaining population at the same time. If I was to add, if I was to unlock more squares, add more roads, I guarantee you that population will start going up again. So the only thing I have to worry about is the three bars in the bottom right corner. How good are you at manipulating these three bars in the bottom right corner? It's not the simulator you think it is. It is participation points. You're rewarded for participating in building the city, even if you build it like rash. It doesn't make any sense to have all these like micromanaging things you have to do in your city. I don't have to pay attention to them at all to build my city. And I've proven it. And yeah, like that's it. I'm I'm done. Okay, I could keep going, but all I see is loan, 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 loan for the rest of it. I'm like, I don't really care about that crap. I could easily keep going no freaking problem all i got to do is expand those tiles put up some more roads paint down some more residential get the population up keep the money going up and i'm good as long as the faces stay in the middle or above i'm still good it's a manipulation simulator i guess <laughs> this is that's the best way to describe it if i do something wrong i want to be punished for it if i do something right i want to be rewarded for it if i build my city in the correct way well not in like the, the absolute correct way but as long as I'm building and maintaining everything correctly, I should be getting rewarded for that. As I said before, my city looks like trash, but I'm not getting punished for it. And I don't like that. So I'm going back to City Skylines 1. Maybe in the future, I might touch City Skylines 2. But in its current state right now, my answer is no. I don't want to participate in a participation simulator. I'm good. Okay. People are actually calling this a painting simulator. I can understand and see why i hope that just because i don't like the game i hope you enjoy the game you know just because i don't like it doesn't mean you don't have to like it i understand that the game might get better in time but i as long as this participation point thing stay in there i'm not gonna have fun with it ever so yeah that's just me i'm going back to see Skylands one hope you enjoy the rest of your day thank y'all for watching please leave it a like you might not leave it a like if you didn't like it you can hit the dislike button it's okay you don't have to agree with me you know it is what it is but i hope you had a good day anyway regardless i'll see you guys in the next video take care and bye bye